Okay, here's a few questions on lenses. Most of these are good for GCSE and A level. Number one, what do all of these represent on a lens ray diagram? I'll give you 30 seconds to answer this one. Starting on the left, we have the object and we have its height. Quite often you'll just see the object as an arrow. The distance from it to the lens is the object distance and the line that we take measurements from is the principal axis. We have the center of the lens that can be called the optical axis or just the lens axis. And I've drawn here the lens and a dotted line, but usually you'll just see one of those to represent the lens. We have the focal length, very important. That's always the same for a particular lens. That's where rays that are going parallel into the lens will all converge. And the distance that is from the lens is called the focal length. We have double the focal length, 2F, and that F and 2F are important, not only this side of the lens, but also the object side as well. Then we have our image height and image distance too. Two, what two rays do you draw in order to find where an image is formed? Draw it from the top of the object, one ray going parallel in, then through the principal focus, and the second one goes straight through the center of the lens. And where they converge, that's where the image of the top of the object is going to be formed. Three, how can you describe the image formed here? It's real because it's being projected. It's inverted, it's the other way up, and it's diminished, it's smaller. The object is more than 2F away from the lens. Four, what is the difference between real and virtual images? Real images can be projected. That means they will actually converge in reality. Virtual image cannot be projected because the rays will diverge. So that means they'll converge on the wrong side of the lens. In the same vein, five, what is the difference between convex and concave lenses? Convex lenses can produce real images, while concave lenses cannot, because the rays always diverge from a concave lens. Six, what will this image be like? It's going to be real and inverted again, but this time it's going to be magnified, because it's closer than 2F. Seven, what will this image be like? The rays are diverging when they come out of the lens, so that means it's a virtual image. It's going to be upright and magnified. Of course, if these light rays are going into your eye, then the lens in your eye will make them converge, so you can see this virtual image. It can't be projected without the help of another lens. 8. What are the two equations for calculating magnification? Magnification is equal to the image height divided by the object height, and it's the same for the distances too. Okay, just a few A-level questions to finish off. Nine, what is the lens equation? One over F equals one over U plus one over V. One over focal length, one over object distance, one over image distance. 10, what is the equation for calculating the power of a lens and what is its unit? Power is equal to one divided by the focal length. The unit is diopter, and that's the same as meters to the minus one. The fatter a lens is, the more powerful it is, the higher diopter it is. Finally, mostly for those doing astro, for telescopes, there are two more ways of calculating magnification. What are they? It can be calculated also from angles, so long as they're small angles. So we take the angle and object subtends when you're looking through a telescope and divide that by the angle that the object subtends with just your naked eye. We can call those the aided and unaided angles respectively. And also if we're dealing with two lenses, we have an objective and an eyepiece lens. Magnification is equal to the focal length of the objective lens divided by the focal length of the eyepiece lens. Hope you found that helpful. If you did, please leave a like. If you haven't checked out my mind map on astro and lenses yet, then click on the card and it'll take you there. Bye for now.